let's take a look at this problem. We got 6x minus 3y the absolute value of that I should say uh, is greater than 14. Okay, well we got a formula for the absolute value of inequalities. As soon as I get my pen is just working horrible this morning. Ah, let me go down here with the mouse. It turns red. <laughs> now our formula says whatever's inside your absolute value. I'm gonna start saying some bad words here if this pen doesn't start working. There we go. Whatever's in your absolute value is your p. The other side is your q. Our formula says that when we got the absolute value of something is less than something else, that's this formula here, then you can rewrite it in this manner. You write it as p is less than negative q or p is greater than positive q. <coughs> so for our formula we got p is less than negative q or p is greater than positive q. Wherever there's a p, we'll plug in 6x minus y, 6x minus 3y. Wherever there's a q, we'll plug in 14. So we've got 6x minus 3y is less than negative 14. Or 6x minus 3y is greater than a positive 14. Now, um, once we get it down to this point, then we're going to um, graph these in order to figure out what our solution set is. And the easiest way to graph these, whether you're doing it by hand or you're using a calculator, is to get y by itself. Well, I'm going to take the 6x and move it over to the right side. So I take that 6x, move it over here. And then we got negative 3y is less than negative 6x minus 14. You take anything across your inequality symbol, the sign changes. So the positive 6x becomes a negative 6x. And then we're going to divide uh, everything by the number in front of our y, which is negative 3. Now when we um, divide by a negative number, we flip our inequality symbols. So that becomes a greater than. So we've got y is greater than 2x, and a negative negative becomes positive <coughs> 14 thirds. Well, we'll do the same thing with this other one. I'm going to take the 6x and take it over to the right side and um, take anything across your, or your inequality of sign changes so 6x becomes a negative 6x then we'll divide everything by the number in front of our y which is negative 3 and again we flip our inequality symbols so greater than becomes a less than That gives us y is less than 2x minus 14 thirds. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the graphical solution to this, um, but um, you could equally do it by hand in terms of graphing those. Using the T83, T84 um, is the easiest way um, when doing a graphical. You can also do it by hand graphical. There's a uh, potentially an infinite number of solutions with this, so that's that's why we have to um, look at the graph to find out the answer. And it's still loading. <laughs> what in the world was that? Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> If you have an Android um, Wabbit, um, it actually has a uh, an app on there for running the TA3, TA4 Plus. Okay. Now, when we got a greater than, it's going to be an upper right hand triangle. When we have a less than, it's going to be a lower left hand triangle. And we'll see what that means here in just a second. Okay, so on our calculator, let me um, show the buttons. Um, 
Okay. So I'll graph the one on the left here first. So I'll press my Y equals. Now I have plot one highlighted. You don't want any of those highlighted. So I'm going to up arrow and press enter on plot one. Down arrow. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> I got that straightened around. I press my Y equals. And I'll do 2X plus 14 thirds. So I do 14 divided by 3. And I'm going to do my left arrow key until I can't do any more. I want it on the first slash is right there. You see how the flashing cursor is on this slash? Now if I press enter one time, it becomes a thick slash. One more time becomes an upper right hand triangle, which is where we're wanting. We were wanting an upper right hand triangle for that one. Well, then I'm going to go down to Y2. And my cursor is already on this first slash, so I'm going to go ahead and get the, the lower left. So press enter one, two, three times. And then I'll come over here. And I want to put in 2x minus 14 thirds. So I got 2x minus 14 divided by 3. Now you can either press graph. Um, if you press graph, potentially you're zoomed out, zoomed in like I am here. So it may not look like what you're wanting. If you press zoom and choose 6, for Z standard. It'll set your standard viewing window back. This is what you should see. Now this is the first one I drew. This is the um, Y is greater than 2X plus 14 thirds. And this one is the Y is less than 2X minus 14 thirds. Now um, one last piece of information for this uh, problem is when you're talking about an OR, what you're talking about is where anything is shaded. So where anything is shaded. If you're talking about the AND, and another way I think of an, think of an AND is that um, it's a little bit trickier to solve a problem with the and here, but you could have it as a form like this. 3 is less than x is less than 5 type of deal. Um, well, anyway, if you have an and, that's where both are shaded. So that's where they're both shaded. So for our particular problem, I'll just roughly sketch it. <coughs> we have it going like that. We have it going like this. And shaded here and shaded here. If I were to pick uh, test cases here, like the origin is 0, 0. If I put 0, 0 in here, 0 for the x, 0 for the y, 6 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, absolute value of 0 is 0. Uh, 0 is not greater than 14. So that kind of makes sense. You can, you can check it that way. If I pick the point over here, like uh, 8, 0. If I put 8 in here, put 0 in here, 6 times 8 is 48. Uh, 3 times 0 is 0. 48 minus 0 is 0. Absolute value of 48 is 48, which is greater than 14. If I were to put in negative 8, negative 8, 0. This point over here. I put negative 8 here, put 0 here. 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 48 minus 0 is negative 48. Absolute value of negative 48 is a positive 48. So you can see um, that if you picked individual points in here, they would check. I have never worked a problem like that. I've used the um, uh, abs absolute value inequalities before, but I never have tried it with two different variables. Um, anyway, that's um, solving that problem. Now I'm just curious. Um, how you do it with um, a less than case. I don't have a video for this since I've never have taught it or have seen it. Um, let me try a, um, if we have the absolute value of let's say 3x minus y is less than 2. Now normally our formula when we got the absolute value of something p represents something is less than something else, and Q is something, then we rewrite it in this manner. 
Negative Q is less than P is less than positive Q. Well, this is a less than case. The uh, one we just looked at was a greater than case. So that, any, that uh, symbol there separates uh, when to use which one. Now what's inside our absolute value is going to be our P. And the other side is our Q. And then our formula says we're going to rewrite as negative Q is less than P is less than positive Q. <coughs> okay. Well, um, we put 2 in for the Q is less than 3x minus y is less than positive Q, which is 2. <coughs> okay. Now, um, you have to... Well, let me write this down again. It's just It just hit me how to solve it. Okay, so we got that. We got this. And um, for this first first piece here, we'll cross off the lesson two. For this piece over here, we'll cross off this negative two is less than. So here we're looking at these two items, and on this one we're looking at these two items. Now what this one says here, if I were to reverse it, 3x minus y is greater than negative two, you can flip both sides around as long as you don't lose the relationship. Here's the, l the small end is opening up toward negative 2, so when I flip around, the small end of the inequality has to open up toward negative 2. Now this one becomes 3x minus y, and I'll flip it around. Um, what am I doing? It's already flipped around. <laughs> I'll wake up here eventually. And there's an imp and between them. Remember how I said that, um, oh, when you got uh, between two numbers, it's an and implied? So again, you could re rewrite it this way. Which then, if I want to solve for y, I take 3x over to the right side, it becomes a negative 3x. And then divide both sides by negative 1. And when you divide by negative, you flip your inequality. And we get y is less than 3x plus 2. Now we do the same thing here. I um, want to get y by itself. So I take 3x over to the right side, becomes a negative 3x. And divide both sides by negative 1. We flip our inequality. And we get y is greater than 3x minus 2. And again, there's an and in between them. So um, now I want to graph these. Now when we got a less than, that's a um, lower left-hand corner. When we got a greater than, that's an upper right-hand corner. Now I'm assuming you have a TA3, TA4. If you don't, then you would just graph, um, graph it like normal. And uh, I forgot something on this other piece here. Um, these are greater thans and less thans. These should be a dotted line here, not solid. Shouldn't do this when I just woke up. But <coughs> oh, hmm. excuse me. That should be dotted. Now, um, it's solid when it's a less than or equal to or, and greater than or equal to. Well, these are going to be dotted lines also, but let's graph these. And our answer is where they're both shaded. Okay, so um, I'm going to press my y equals, press my clear. This one's going to be 3x plus 2. I'm going to do my left arrow key until I'm on my flashing cursor is on the first slash, and then I want a lower left hand triangle. So inner, 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 down arrow. And this one's going to be an upper right hand triangle. So as you press inner, it'll keep, um, keep cycling through. Or if you press clear here, it'll set it back to the beginning. So I've got 3x minus 2. And uh, again, we put our flashing cursor on our first slash, and we'll press enter until it becomes an upper right hand triangle. And then we press graph. There's our first graph. And there's our second graph. Now, that's interesting. <laughs> Where they're both shaded is our answer. So for this one, the answer. Again, these are dotted lines, something like that. 
and then um, that would be your answer. Now again, it's not where everything is shaded. It's only where they're both shaded. And um, I wonder why that looks thicker. Maybe it's my imagination. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's in, that shouldn't be part of your answer. But anyway, uh, that shows you how to handle the less than case. <coughs> now, if this was a less than or equal to, these would be um, solid, solid lines here. 